Perla always handles all of your paper's formatting for you, but we know there are times when you may need a bit more control over your paper's content, either to satisfy your professor's non-standard demands or to use some of Word's more complicated features like track changes. That's why we've added the advanced edit mode into our Perla for Word add-in. We're going to look at what advanced edit mode does to your paper, why you may want to use it, and how to enable it for your paper. Advanced Edit Mode is a setting you can turn on for an individual paper that removes the protective content controls that are placed around citations and references in the body of your paper. Perlly uses content controls to keep track of your references and citations and to ensure that the format-specific parts of your paper can't be accidentally messed up. By removing the content controls, the references and citations are entered into your paper as plain text meaning you can edit them directly in your paper just like any other text. However, this means all of your references and citations in your paper will be disconnected from Perla. So if you edit any of your references using Perla, we can't automatically update the reference and its citations in your paper. Or if your reference acquires a different first and subsequent use citation, we won't be able to tell what kind of citation to use automatically, and you'll have to choose for yourself. Advanced Edit Mode gives you the ability to edit your references and citations directly in your paper without content controls, but it also means you'll lose access to some of Perla's advanced features as well. So, when does it make sense to use Advanced Edit Mode? There are really two situations where it becomes useful. The first one is for students who already feel comfortable with the APA style. If you know your way around the basics of the APA format and find that you need to frequently customize the standard formatting that Perlo provides, then Advanced Edit Mode may help streamline your process. The second situation is for students whose school or professor requires them to use track changes when submitting a paper. Both track changes and content controls are visual elements that are laid on top of your paper's text. In isolation, both of them work great, However, when used together, they can end up competing for the same visual space. This can cause problems for Perla and Word. So by using Advanced Edit Mode, you're taking the content controls out of the equation. Now that we know what Advanced Editing Mode is and why we may want to use it, let's see how to enable it for a paper. Before we turn it on, if we're using track changes, it's important that we go ahead and disable track changes and set the changes view to no markup. We can do both of these using the review tab in Word. After we've enabled advanced editing mode, we can come back here and turn track changes back on and show whatever level of markup we want. Okay, now we're ready. We can access the advanced edit mode panel in two ways, either through the hamburger menu in any Perla panel or through the settings icon in the Perla ribbon tab. The advanced edit mode screen will give us a condensed version of the information we've covered so far in this video. So we can click the use advanced edit mode button at the bottom. Now because advanced edit mode cannot be reversed for a paper, Perla will ask us to confirm our choice. If we enable advanced edit mode for a paper, it cannot be undone. We'll have to start a new paper in order to get back to the standard way Perla works. But since we're sure, we can click again to use Advanced Edit Mode. All right, at this point, Perla will look through our paper and remove any content controls around the references and citations that we may have already inserted. Moving forward, any references or citations that we create or add to our paper using Perla will be inserted as plain text and won't be connected to Perla with content controls. So we have to remember, if we make any edits to those references, we need to be sure that we also edit any of its citations as well. As I mentioned before, advanced edit mode is enabled only for individual papers one at a time. So if we were to create another paper now, it will use Perla's default settings and will include content controls. If we need to use advanced editing mode in that paper, we'll need to be sure to turn it on in that paper as well. All right, that pretty much covers it for this video. If you want to learn a bit more about content controls, how Perla works, or about advanced editing mode, 
You can find articles for each of these in the Perla Help Center at perla.com slash help. As always, our customer support team is ready to help every day until 10 p.m. Central. You can reach them via email at support at perla.com. Thanks for watching and good writing. Thank you.